Please be ready for a dictation of exercise number 65 from a material of Dr. G.D. Best. Five seconds. Start. Coming to Pakistan, history is a record that we have harbored no ill will towards Pakistan. Pakistan was established by a division of this country and yet we cheerfully accepted it despite the hardships and sufferings it brought to millions of people who had to be uprooted and had to come here. Again, despite several wars and differences on many issues, the Prime Minister has extended a hand of friendship to Pakistan. The Simla Agreement itself is concrete proof of India's willingness and India's desire to strengthen relations with Pakistan and to work out a cooperative attitude between the two countries. Now, I also accept that every country has a right to make an assessment of its defense requirements and also to seek arms from whatever it can obtain. But I would say that in a situation in which certain suspicion exists, it would be desirable to try to have some kind of an understanding before Pakistan acquires large military supplies, particularly because there is some doubt about its requirements. I do not know whether you had an opportunity to go through an interview given by the Foreign Minister of Pakistan to our newspaper. But in this, he has made certain interesting revelations. If that is the situation, one wonders what this arms build is necessary for. What does it really mean? Then one may say, all right, maybe it is in relation to the Soviet Union. And here again, the foreign minister to a very specific question that was asked. Then we look at the international situation. The United States is wanting to have a base of strategic arrangements in Southwest and Southeast Asia. Is Pakistan to be a part of the, it? The statement given by the President of Pakistan was also rather dubious when he said before we pass on arms to Afghanistan, Pakistan must be built up militarily. What does it mean? All I would say is that the strategic environment as well as the building up around us is rather unfortunate. It is to a large degree going to affect our own development, our own efforts for building up cooperation in this area. I would therefore urge the Foreign Minister to face this situation with renewed vigour. We have to pursue our policy firmly. We must work for the Indian Ocean as a zone of peace. We must work for strengthening the non-alignment movement. We must work towards dismantling of any kind of basis that may be sought to be built up in this area. Sir, our relations with the Soviet Union have historically been proved in different difficult times. There is no question of a doubt. I do not think anybody in this house could question the need to further strengthening our relations with the Soviet Union and to use those relations for peace and for trying to de-escalate the build-up in this area. To that extent, it is necessary to further strengthen our relations with the Soviet Union now. Stop.